Welcome back to Oakfield Farm. We have been busy. I just stopped at the house here for a quick bite before I head back out and uh, get back to work. Things are progressing pretty good, actually. Um, Brian, he is still combining away on field 13. Uh, my combine is stopped up on field 3 because I don't have a trailer. So I got to get down to the store. I got the Fent 700. 720 actually all cleaned up ready to go I kind of have a plan and uh, this could be a bad one <laughs> this could this this could this could break my farm but you know what um, I had a hockey coach tell me one time go big or go home so I'm gonna go big the heck with it um, we're gonna go up to the store I gotta buy a trailer and um, here's the deal I I only have very well I have 22 slots slots left and all the trailers that I was gonna purchase um, would uh, take up way too many slots um, so I am kind of limited in what I can do there was a cramp that I thought about and a couple other ones I thought about and you know it is what it is um, so I am going to purchase another brander. Yes, David has one on Oakfield Farm, but um, just because of that fact, that's what I'm going to go with. It's, it's a nice trailer. Um, I'm kind of using it like a live bottom, and that works out really well for potatoes. So um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. And yes, I am going to park the 700 right here. I have contemplated this. I have thought about this. Um... I have kind of heed and hummed and hot, or whatever that expression is, and uh, I thought about the other two I have. I have the uh, 800 Vario. I have the 800 Fabric. But you know what? I'm 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 trying to get big, and I'm going to need the big daddy. And uh, the dealership called me down, and they have a big daddy that they're going to bring around for me. So it is what it is. Go big, go home. So I'm gonna get 175,000. That is not too bad. Not too bad at all. I gotta repair it though. 351. Ouch. <sighs> hey, bye bye. See you later. It was nice knowing you. And then I am going to get rid of this. Yep. Get rid of that. Now the first thing I need to purchase, and let's just say I'm gonna go into the dealership and talk to the salesman, but I need to get the Brantner. Um, that's just what I that's what I can go with um, so now you see I have 43 slots now um, so the dealership got one in and it is a fine and outstanding um, let's see oh yeah I gotta go way to the end here the Fent 1000 series I am a Fent farm and how in the world can I not have a 1000 series Fent it, yeah, you just can't do it. It's like having a bologna sandwich without cheese, you know? You just, or a Miracle Whip, whatever. You got to have it. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for it. I am going to get one. I want one. Um, now, 396 horsepower, 476 horsepower, or 517 horsepower. Here's the price difference. Uh, 289 <laughs> 289 to 324 to 338. Oh, I want to just go big. Then I'm done with it, and I can, I if I get fields, I can get a bigger plow. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna have to borrow money. Yes, I know. Um, the color, that's that's the fen color. I can't change that. I am, you know, these things are cool extra 5600 bucks but they don't do any good in the game so i'm just going to go with wheel weights there rim coming to stay the same um i like the gray one um and i don't need that uh, the yogi bear sticker on the side um so that's what i'm going to go with that is going to be cool what oh i don't have enough money 341 said <laughs> what 341 i got to go next door here i got to Transfer some money here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. 
there that would cover it but I'm gonna need a little extra um, I'm gonna go up to 3,000 I got to give David some money yeah there we go 300,000 I owe the bank that's scary okay back here do this all over again there you go I wanted that I want wheel weights on it I want that I want that good to go wait no I don't want the Yogi what am I missing here? No gray? Yeah, everything's right. 341. I thought it said 348. 341. Yep, yep, yep. Haha. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I got one of these on um, Sussex, and I was playing around with it. I just absolutely love it. Um, yeah, this tractor... Well, this today is... Today is the... Uh, Wednesday the uh, 2nd of May so these came out today that's why I gotta have one today um, I also need to get now that I'm thinking about it I might as well get a weight and I might as well do the Fent weight yep okay there we go how many slots do, do I have oh I got three slots left woohoo um, oh, I just fell over the weight almost. Yeah, this thing is awesome. I love the steering wheel. Well, you probably you've all have seen this by now because today is Wednesday, the May second, when this came out. Um, and this will be let's see, this video will be out on Friday morning. So, yep, awesome, awesome. So I'm not going to go into all that. You have all seen this new tractor by now. But um, the reason why. Because if I can expand, I'm going to have a good potato crop. I'm going to have a good uh, canola crop, a good wheat crop. I'm going to make money, and um, I want to buy more land and get bigger equipment. And this would be my tractor to do it. Being on I am a fent farm. Don't forget, I am a fent farm. This might clash a little bit. I was looking for a trailer that I could um, customize the color, and the ones I wanted, I just couldn't. <laughs> I just couldn't get the uh, slots there. Oh, that is, I, I love it. I love it. You know, I always said that the, the little Massey Ferguson's were my favorite tractors, but this, this is, this is, um, pretty neat. It's getting a little breezy in here. I might as well, what? Oh, I gotta have the tractor on there. There we go. Now I probably, ooh, that didn't do that when I was playing around with it before. I probably opened the hood too, didn't I? I wonder why that's doing that now. That's a little funky. I wasn't doing that when I did my mod review. Um, here we go. Oh, hey, my trailer's still sitting there. I have to, <laughs> I have to get that too. Uh, that's funny. Forgot all about that. They, I probably have a ticket sitting on it. Probably hasn't. Probably get towed by now. Uh, that's crazy. Okay, here's what I gotta do. I gotta get up to field three. I gotta unload the uh, combine. Um, Reggie is up there waiting for me, so I gotta get that pretend that didn't happen. Um, I just wrecked my brand new $341,000 tractor. Oh well. But <laughs> as I was saying, I gotta get up there. I will see you up at field three here in just a little bit. It's quite the hike. But hey, I'm cruising. I'm going 40 miles an hour. That That's worth it. Just just being able to do that, it's, it's worth $341,000. Right? See you in a bit. It's a hike. It's a hike. I didn't, you know, when I bought this field over here, all this stuff over here, I didn't think it was that far. But when you get cooking down the highway, uh, it takes a little bit. That is for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know what what the deal is with the hood. See, it did not do that when I was playing with it on Sussex. So I don't know why. Let me unhook the trailer here. See if that has anything to do with it. No, that doesn't have anything to do with it. How about the weight? Nope. Huh. I don't know. That's interesting. Anyways, back to the back to back to business. Back to farming. Reggie is sitting here waiting for me. Um
Ooh. Oh, I'm glad I... I should have paid more attention to the height of the trailer before. Um, I didn't think about that. Um, 4,500 liters just for that little... This and that strip, so that's not too bad. That's not too shabby. Um, now what am I going to do? I suppose if I could get a ride back to my farm, I could go get my baler. I could start doing that while... Well, well, Reggie's combining and then just haul, um, haul grain when I need to. I suppose I could do that. Um, well, they better check on, check on, um, Brian, too, see how things are going there. But let's just give, um, Reggie a little help here getting going again. Then on top of that, I'm going to have some income from all these bales. I hate it when that happens. That happens to me a lot. Yeah. Okay, good luck, Reggie. No, you don't need to unload. I'm not going with you. Okay, we're thrashing again. Making progress. Making money. I like that. Um... Oh, I love this tractor. Absolutely love it. Looks good with the fent weight on there. Yep, I love it. Um, you notice it is kind of... It's leggy around it. You know, even walking around it, it kind of... Yeah. Um, I think I might make some phone calls and see if I can get my bailer out here. And uh, check on Brian as well. And, uh, yeah. We'll get more stuff done. I got a ride back down to the farm. George, he came and picked me up. He's a nice guy. Um, we help him out, so he was more than happy to come get me. I have decided to make another change as well. But this one, I, it shouldn't cost me any money. I do have this uh, Crone, uh, or Crona, I've heard it both, both ways, Caprima, Caprima, Caprimo, what does it say? Cap there it is. Caprima. Uh, round baler that I bought at the auction when I first came to Oakfield Farm and uh, I was thinking I was going to do that just to be different. I like this baler. I think it's pretty cool. Um, but in all reality, um, I have square bales right now on Oakland Farm. David uses square bales. So, yeah. It'll be easier for me to bale the first place and load and unload all those bales or load them up and sell them so I'm gonna trade this in and I should actually uh, make money to be honest with you um, I should I call ahead the dealer we arranged on a price yep holy buckets that's more than wow I'm not complaining about that and then um, because of slot counts and stuff, see, I only have seven. Uh, we'll go with right here. Uh, colored front, colored back. I don't know. We'll just go with colored back. That's kind of cool. Okay, we got that. And then I also need to get myself. David has one, but I... No, do I have one? No, I don't have one. I don't have one. I need to get a set of Kotec forks. There we go. So yes, I spent some money, but I think I got I got more return. Forty, yeah. So that's not bad at all. I could actually pay back some of the bank too if I wanted to, but I do have to give David a bunch, so I'm gonna be stuck there anyways. Um, not intending to um, have the same equipment on both farms, but uh, there's a couple things that are gonna be the same, and that's okay. The trailer and the baler. Um, ew, those, oh, that's, that's ugly. Why did I do that? Um, yeah. So, what I need to do is I need to get this up to field. Um, too bad that didn't have a hitch on the back of this thing. 
um, I can take that trailer with me, but I need to get this up to the field and then come back and get my trailer there so I can start loading bales and, um, oh, I didn't think that one through real quick, real good, did I? No, I didn't. Never mind. My bad. I had a brain, brain freeze. I was thinking that I was going to get the um, the Quadro Pack V5 thing. I was thinking I was going to do that, so I was going to buy a different baler. But then I, I remembered that um, I'm not too keen on loading all these bales by four. And I know David has a uh, auto stack. And like, like my kind of my rule of thumb is I don't use equipment from up there. So I was just going to um, lease one of those. A auto stacker for my bales. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. So everything's all good. It's all good. I thought about that for a minute, but then I thought, nah, that's just that's just too much too much. I have too much stuff to do. I gotta make I gotta make it efficient for me. And uh, but in the meantime, still trying to be as realistic as I can. And that's kind of a good way of doing it. So I am gonna take this up to the field. I gotta turn around, come back, and get my trailer. So we'll see you after just a little bit when I kinda get things settled down here a little bit. Uh, I still have to check on Brian. I, I think he's got full full trailers, full carts. So I got lots to do, man. This this is a busy, busy time. I, I need to clone myself. That's what I need. Sometimes I feel like I'm just running around with my head cut off. Holy bucket, that I've been busy today. Um, let's see. I got went down and got the trailer. Now I came up here. I'm on my way up to um, field 13. I got to empty the um, their, uh, David's Bratner trailer. But I was just checking on the um, animals. I have some work to do here, so I'm thinking I'm going to take care of them real quick here. Let's see. Oh, cleaning. Water. Okay. Oh yeah, I got to use my. I got to use my tractor. So I'm going to dump that off there. I am just going to empty the whole loader here at the moment. Oh, I hope I can't do it with the fork on there. There we go. Now, I'll find the uh, cleaner thingy and the water tank and we will do this. Yeah, I'm busy. The, well, no, I still have room in my trailer down at field three, but um, Brian, he is filling up that trailer pretty fast. That is some good, good crop up there, I tell you. Um, he's already dumped one trailer load, so now the second one is full. So, yeah, that's some good crop there. Um, all right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take care of all these animals. I'm going to speed it up, turn on the tunes, just to save, um, just to save time.
about as best as I'm gonna get them done. I need to get grass though. That is one thing I need to do. Um, and pigs too. So, but first of all, I'm gonna stop up here. And I think I have to empty. What is going on with the bumpy road there? Have to empty the uh, trailer for Brian. And we'll see how far he has gotten in this field. This thing is full. Um, I bet he's probably full though. Yeah, it looks like he stopped up there. Um, we'll take the grain cart up there and I bet you there's stuff in this one too. Oh, that's full. Okay, well that ain't gonna do any good then. Um, and the trailer is full. Oh, my goodness, I tell you what, this is just crazy. Crazy. 36,000, so this is the second load. And then, um, <laughs> the green cart is full already. That's 20,000. Holy buckets. That's a lot of barley coming off that field, I tell you. Jeepers. And these two, are, the two farm silos are connected together, so, yeah, it's going to say 91, 30. I don't know what's, what is what. No more capacity for barley. Oh, wow. So he's got 100,000 here, then, and I've got 5,000 at Oakland Farm. Huh, David. You better get construction workers down here. We gotta make some, um, make some more bins. Wow. That's interesting. That is interesting. do with the rest of this stuff. Might as well go empty the combine first. There's quite a bit of field here left too. They're on the wrong side there. You know what? I'm not that picky here. A little uh, track is not going to kill anything. I'll give him my four dollars for the cost of that. Oh, you know what? The tractor doesn't do doesn't do any damage. Uh, it's the roll crop. It's the roll crop um, challenger. Yeah, so that's not going to do any damage anyways. But the trailer would. Um, isn't that something? That is just hard to believe that that little that tractor is not going to do any damage. It would crush it. But yeah, I forgot. This is the uh, the uh, modded one from the uh, the uh, horse pack. So it's the roll crop. Roll crop challenger. again. I'll, um, I can't store this. So I gotta make a few phone calls to see what he wants to do. But. So that will empty the grain card. He'll have a little bit of room left. Um, hmm. I don't know what to do now. I have to call David. See what he wants to do. Um. Mia can come and help um, Brian a little bit. I gotta get busy. 
I got things to do, man. You're welcome, Brian. Off to field three. I will see you there in just a little bit. My Bratner trailer is full. 36,000 liters of barley. I'm going to take it over to Oakland Farm, my farm, and I'm going to put it in the silo system there. Um, yeah. Oops, my turn signal's on. I didn't want to do that. I was trying to close the cover on there. This is, I love it. I absolutely love this tractor. I have no buyer's remorse whatsoever. None. Zilch. Nada. This is perfect. It actually uh, makes the uh, long drive to Oakland Farm even a little bit more enjoyable. <laughs> that is for sure. I got to get out and look at this thing now that it's gotten a little darker outside. Holy lights, Batman. Look at that. That is just splendid. All kinds of work lights on this puppy. Absolutely. You know, I'm reading this story. John Deere tractors. Um, not, these, these would go back to the um, 8120s. Um, even, let's see, 80, 8120s is what comes to mind because that's what we had. But, you know, they had these John Deere up on the cab up here up in the corner where these lights are. Up, up there next to the beacon light. They, um, this is before LED lights, of course. But it's like a little bulb in a little case. And you'd be going down the road and you'd see them. I mean, two would be burnt out. One would be burnt out. They, they're a horrible design. Absolutely horrible design. And then... I love it. And then uh, you just tap on it and, it and it comes back on again. So then what you would do is you'd take all that electric um, uh, conductor stuff and you would put that in the bulb and try to make the connection tighter. Uh, absolutely terrible design, worthless. But anyways, that's what I just thought of as I was looking at it. I've kind of run into a little bit of a problem here. Um, the barley silo at the Oakfield farm is completely full, like we know. Um, and I don't know what to do with that yet. Um, barley is just, is the price is so low that you, you don't want to get rid of it. Um, You know, some maps have a storage option. I think, um, let's see. The Lawfolds have a storage option, I think. Yeah, I know Lawfolds did. Um, and I can't get a bin made <laughs> right off the bat. Uh, so, and the other uh, the other problem is I don't have, <laughs> I gotta get some slots to put up some bins. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing, and I think I probably would have done this anyways, is um, in order to do that to free up some slots uh, my logging trailer um, I don't plan on uh, using it anymore I really don't I think my logging days are done um, I'm farming now um, and if I did I could always just rent one I think well no I couldn't I wouldn't have but anyways that would free up some space and that gives me an extra I think it's 10,000 11,000 whoops I'm on the wrong side of the road my bad um, so I might do that and try to get some bins put up for tomorrow. Because uh, he's completely full up there. The green card is full. And there's just a little bit left. So that might that little bit left might have to stay until tomorrow. The forecast looks good. We don't expect rain. I got a bunch of straw on here. Um, I'm going to go do some bailing up on my field uh, tonight yet, I think. Um, yeah. So, I was hoping to have both these fields done today, but that's not the case. Um, that's just too bad. But it is the way it is. And then hopefully, um, by, t well, game day tomorrow would be another 10 days. So, um, let me get some bins put up by then. But, you know, tomorrow's going to be the same thing. We are going to be just um, completely swamped. But then again, you think about it, we only have one... For Oakfield Farm, we only have one barley field, so to put up a bin just for barley 
and there's not that much in there doesn't make much sense at all so thinking about that now hmm yeah maybe it's better you know what I could do I could see if he wanted to store it at my farm that would make sense I could store it there just keep you have to keep track of how much he has maybe I can make a little money off some storage fees yeah that's an idea that's what I'll do just how to store it at Oak Glen farm so that's kind of the plan there I think but the rest of the evening. Where am I going? What happens when you talk. I, see, I think it is. I just love driving this tractor. I, I, I didn't want to have to get off, but I need to stop at my place and, uh, and empty it. Oh boy. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking I was going back to the store to get another tractor. Uh, wouldn't that be nice? This is awesome tractor. Awesome. Awesome mod. Awesome. By Aron Modding. I think I'm saying that right. Aaron Aron Modding. Yeah. Beautiful. Whoa, hit the brakes. Um, so, anyways, the plan. Oops, I didn't make that corner real well. Uh, the plan for the rest of the evening. Um, I have just a couple passes left on field three. I am going to finish that up for myself tonight. And then um, that'll be about it. Kind of get things cleaned up, kind of get things organized for tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of where we stand for that. Oh, I love that tractor. So, that's where we stand for tonight. I'm going to go do that, and then um, I'll tell um, Brian, he can all come and uh, unload that barley in my uh, bin site here. That is fine with me. Um, just keep track of how much they put in there. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow will be another busy day. I wonder what's going to be ready for tomorrow. Let's look at the map just real quick here. Um, I got to take care of pigs yet, too, here. Boy, I have all kinds of work to be done. Um, oh, yeah, we got potatoes. Oh, crummy. We got potatoes to do tomorrow. Ouch. Yeah, potatoes. And that's, oh, boy. I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. I would just like to go down to the Seven Springs and then just, uh, yeah, I can get rid of that trailer and then drink it away, but I can't do that. i got to stay busy. So, I don't know. Maybe I have to go back out working more than tonight. Do some canola combo. Why do you turn that on for? Um, I don't know. We'll see. But we got to end it there for the video. It's getting just, I think it might be getting a little bit on the long side. Um, but we'll leave it there. And we'll see what happens tomorrow. It'll be another busy day. Full of all kinds of um, good stuff. Fun tractors. Yes, I love this tractor. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But, hey, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. If you liked it, I ah, found it somewhat entertaining. Maybe uh, maybe it's a bunch of tomfoolery. Give us a like. We would appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hey, think about doing that as well. That would be, um, that would be outstanding. But from Oakfield Farm, busy as heck, running around here, combining, thrashing, all kinds of good stuff. Farmer Ben telling you, have yourself a great day and keep between the ditches. So long.